Savants and Stable Diffusion. Some graphic designers and artists still seem a bit confused about how current AI models, image models, actually work. There's no stealing, there are no copyright breaches. What is happening inside these models is something different. So let's try something new. Let's try a comparison that I haven't tried before about savants. For a very long time, I worked with the highest performers in the world. I worked with prodigies and savants. I used and applied research from the Institute of Coaching at Harvard Medical School to these families and really supported them with where they were going. Remember, prodigies are children who perform at the level of an expert adult. Savants are those with a significant mental disability, but they also have this enormous talent, perhaps number one in the world. You might think of a savant as someone like Raymond from the movie Rain Man, but they exist today and they are just incredible. This is a guy called Stephen Wiltshire. He's a savant who can draw amazing sketches of landscapes. He looks at an image from different angles and then he draws it from scratch. No one's accusing him of breaching copyright. He took five days to draw the Singapore skyline and his drawing of the Tokyo skyline is 10 meters or 33 feet long. He's also been here in Australia drawing the Sydney skyline and it's not just from memory. He's also famous for his fictional scenes with his best-selling book, Floating Cities showing imaginative concepts. Now, Stephen is not stealing or copying images. He's doing this, they call him the human camera. He's doing this from what has been built into his mind. He's absorbed this training data set and then he's able to create cities that don't actually exist. So he can go and look at the Mona Lisa and then he can go and look at other Leonardo da Vinci stuff but when he does his own creation, he's not copying, he's creating something brand new. This is really, really similar to how the current crop of AI models work. Let's take Steven's ability, which is world-class. He looks at one scene and then he creates a new image from scratch. Let's multiply Steven's savant ability by five billion, because that's how many training images we're using to train the current crop of AI image models. The new kit on the block is called Stable Diffusion and it is a transformer based text to image diffusion model. It works really, really similarly to language models like GPT-3 and Palm. And if you haven't watched my video on AI for humans, go and have a look. It atomizes the training data. So this is, we use jelly crystals for this. This is different sorts of training data that have been put in this jar to symbolize how these models actually work. None of the original 5 billion images actually exist after training. It's all atomized, it's all little dots that then go and explode during this diffusion process. And they really do create images from scratch. There is no stealing, there's no copying, there's no Photoshop. It is all from this black box where it's translating, interpreting, and then conceptualizing a new image from scratch. Stable Diffusion had a filtered data set from 250 terabytes of image text pairs. That's 5.85 billion images. They filtered that down to 2 billion beautiful images. They called that data set Lion Aesthetics. It was trained on 4,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs for about 720 hours, which is 30 days. And it was initially tested by 15,000 users who were generating 2 million pictures per day. Let's jump into Stable Diffusion. The current interface is really rough. You have to use Discord, which is like an IRC client to play around with it. Here I'm having a play around with generating an image using the prompt Stephen Wiltshire Skyline Drawing Atlantis Metropolis Underwater. And you'll see that after other people get their generations, I finally get my generation here, which is four different examples of what Atlantis might look like underwater, generated by AI in a matter of seconds, far faster than Dolly 2. 
So amazing. Let's have a look at some of the other outputs from Stable Diffusion. I've been looking at the top outputs via the Stable Diffusion Twitter feed, via Discord, which has a picture of the day channel and a favorites channel, and also via the subreddit, the Stable Diffusion subreddit. Let's go and have a look. Here's the prompt, Samuel L. Jackson and The Witcher 3 Gameplay 8K HD. Film still of Johnny Depp as Tony Stark in Avengers Endgame 4K. Art Studios. This is not the exact prompt, but have a look at how beautiful this is. This art studio does not exist. None of these images existed until AI went and conceptualized them from scratch. Beautiful Serene Hobbiton by Alan Lee, Lord of the Rings, smooth detailed terrain, oil painting. Some of these prompts get very, very long. A screenshot of Benedict Cumberbatch in the video game X. This is a number of different video games. See which ones you can recognize. I see uh, Animal Crossing there. And GTA maybe. Let's do the same thing for Elon Musk in different games. Which ones can you recognize? What about some fantasy world landscapes? This is a really complex prompt here. When you add punctuation like exclamation marks and even brackets, the model prioritizes different parts of the prompt. So this is a Portrait of an extremely beautiful young female with symmetric face and bokeh. And a couple of owls. This was run through an additional upscaling process for the face. A horse on a swing detailed oil painting. Another very long prompt. We're using trending on ArtStation Unreal Engine 4K to get that higher quality or ask it to conceptualize something at higher quality. You can even ask it to do Unreal Engine 5, which has just been released. Different conceptualizations of Marvel's Ultron character. None of these of course existed. None of these have been touched by a human. The AI generated each one in a second or two. Concept Art of Paris. And this one, a cute fluffy baby cheetah with long flowing lion mane with mohawk <laughs> in 4K. An animal that did not exist before this AI created it. Just some of my favorites that I know the prompts for. Thanks to all the artists that have generated those prompts, the images have, are available to the public, but the original prompters apparently own the copyright to those images. I was part of the initial intake for Stable Diffusion, but it's not really part of what I do. It's just that it's transformer based and it's already shaping the landscape. It's augmenting and enhancing human capabilities that piques my interest. Let's have a look and finish up with some more images some with prompts, some without.